Thousands of travelers in 60 destinations around the world have been affected by the travel company's Thomas Cook collapse. Senior strategist in the Ministry of Tourism, Delano Sivright, says a special flight arranged to transport a second group of customers in Jamaica back to the United Kingdom is scheduled for Tuesday. So we have now identified um, another 200 plus passengers who need to get back to Manchester, UK this week. Um, so we have a special flight being operated by Virgin Atlantic that will take them back to Manchester, UK on Tuesday. Mr. Sivright says other affected Thomas Cook customers in Jamaica are scheduled to leave shortly. By certainly this week and two is that we have been able to recover most of the seats that service Jamaica as a relief to Thomas Cook. So we have had um, talks with British Airways, Virgin Atlantic, and other imports and carriers. And we have managed to fill the gap that Thomas, get, Thomas Cook has left behind. The flight would increase to more than 500, the number of Thomas Cook clients flown out of Jamaica since the company ceased operations a week ago. Meanwhile, Britain's Civil Aviation Authority, CAA, says it has flown more than 60,000 Thomas Cook customers back to the UK. Last Thursday, it used 69 flights to transport 15,000 people as part of its repatriation scheme. 72 flights were operated on Friday to return 16,000 people. The CAA says repatriation will continue until October 6, with more than 1,000 flights planned. The authority said 95% of passengers have been flown home on the planned day of their departure. O'Shea Masters, Frontline News.